Hey everybody, welcome to another quick save review with me, RC. Today, we're going to be playing a bit of Jelly Break Deluxe, or is it, is it Gelly Break Deluxe? You know, it's kind of like the GIF and GIF thing, whatever side you stand on. I don't really care. I assume this is jelly, though. These guys are very gelatinous looking, so they must be jellies. Either way, this is a brand new 3D platformer that is out today on Steam, Xbox, PS4, Switch, anywhere basically you can get games, uh, where it's important anyway. I don't think it's on that Playdate thing, but <laughs> turn the crank, move the jellies. Uh, but it's 20 bucks, uh, and I, I love this game, guys. It's really, really cool. You play as uh, these two jellies, and they're basically fighting to get their world back, it would seem. It's being taken over by uh, some kind of uh, uh, dark force, right? Uh, so far, I have played through two regular levels. I've played through a couple of boss levels here. Um, and yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it here. Uh, we're going to just jump in where, uh, you know, from where I left off here. Um, we're jumping into some kind of like mountainous, like... Uh, like Oasis Waterfall region, which looks pretty cool, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, one thing you'll see on the map immediately, though, is you do see these locks with little characters next to them. You do have to save your friends, and if you save your friends, you unlock even more levels. Uh, another thing to note going into this, guys, if you're going to play this on Steam, which is where we're playing this today, it does require a gamepad. Um, so if you don't have a gamepad, don't get this game. But if you have a gamepad, then you're in. It's good to go. Uh, one of the other big features of this game is the fact that it is supposed to be a uh, simultaneous co-op. Uh, so, let me make sure that the uh, audio here isn't going to be too loud for you guys. I always hate when I record these, and it's always just a bit too loud. Okay. Uh, but what's great about this game, though, is that it is a 3D platformer mixed with a twin-stick shooter. So you play as these two jellies. At any point, you could switch their colors. So I'm orange riding the green, but then you hit this, now I'm the green riding the orange. You're going to need that for certain platforms in the game. Then, if you use the right stick, look at this. Twin stick shooter. Absolutely love that. And it plays a lot into the gameplay. What is this thing? We need the green guy? Ah, yes. Okay, so you can see right there, as the orange guy, you can't use this thing. See that? But once we switch to green, boom! Now we can. Now, I heard a hay in the background. Whenever you hear hay, it's usually a character that is looking for help. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for those characters here. So let's take out these enemies. Jump up over here. Take those guys out here. But yeah, guys, I'm having a ball with this game. I, I am not too... Oop, we got a switch. There we go. I'm not too terribly far into the game. But I love it. I'm having such fun with it. It's taking me right back. My, my favorite style of game is a good 3D platformer. I'm not even kidding. I, I love a two, good 2D platformer, but 3D platformer, if it's done well, good camera, all that stuff, which this game has, then I'm just, I'm in. By the way, they tried to hide this guy over here. See? Uh, your little spin move when you switch will actually break this glass, too, to let characters out. Uh, you also use that to break certain glass uh, areas. Oh, can we actually make it up there? Uh, there's little, like, glass window areas that you can reach as well. I don't know how I can reach that green one up there. Might have to do, like, a fancy jump over here or something. Collect those things. All right, we'll just keep on moving here. So, the, you know, this game is its interesting because it's a lot of different games and genres, you know, thrown into one. It's like, you know... Uh, 3D, you know, 3D Mario Land... Mario World? 3D... 3D Mario World, mixed with, like, a Crash Bandicoot, mixed with a twin-stick shooter. Oh, here we go. You get these wave-based fights you gotta do, too. Oh, okay, they added enemies where you gotta break them. That's pretty cool. But it's it's really cool and interesting that they, they added all these different, like, mecha uh, mechanics and, and ways to play the game. And I, I love how they've explored everything that you can't... So far, you know, I'm only playing, like, the third level here. But this switch thing they've used for several different things, breaking glass, uh, you, you saw that we needed it to take out enemies as well. I mean, I could see things getting pretty hairy in this, and there are definitely some parts in the game already that were, like, somewhat challenging, which I, I wasn't expecting. Um, but it's not so challenging that you're going to sit there and be like, oh yeah, this is the Dark Souls of 3D platformers or anything like that. 
Definitely not going to be dealing with anything like that. Looks like we found another area here. Uh, one of the other things I like, too, is that there's a lot of cool little secret areas that you got to explore a little bit to try to find all the stuff. And I dig that. I heard another hey. It must be, it means we're close to another friend. One of my tips, though, definitely make sure you are paying attention to what color you are landing on because that will be a pain if you are not. This tree's kind of blocking my jump. Now, see, I heard a hay, but if I... The thing is, is if you hear a hay and you didn't grab it yet, if you jump onto that little switch button there, you don't want to grab that yet because it'll take you to a completely different area. We don't want to do that because we heard a hay from somewhere. And I don't want to leave a buddy behind. I've already done it before. I wasn't able to find a couple of the friends in the old levels. I'll have to go back and try to find them. But if I can't find them, I can't find them. That's all there is to it. Uh, the game has a very cute aesthetic to it, which I dig. Like I was saying uh, earlier, it takes me back to when 3D platformers were king during like the PS2, GameCube, Xbox era. Uh, even partially the uh, N64 and P PlayStation era. Um, I'm really glad that they're still coming out with like newer uh, 3D platformers, you know, like Super Lucky Tail, uh, you know, this for example, new Mario games still, you know, they still come out with that are 3D platformers. I, we're just going to jump to the next area. We can't find the little hay guy. I'm going to have to come back. But it is definitely a genre that uh, they took a... Because because they oversaturated it back then uh, with so many games that weren't very good that, uh, you know, a lot of companies took a break because they stopped selling. Uh, me personally, though, I bought a lot of them. Even people that... Or, uh, you know, games that a lot of uh, different uh, media outlets did not care for. And I thought that they were pretty good, personally. Um... Oh, is this the hay guy? Maybe he, we could hear him saying hay from, like, way over there. Yep, that's number two. Okay. Don't think I've been able to find all three in one level just yet. But yeah, it was such a shame. Because it's such a great genre. It's just, like, you know, it just needs TLC. And it needs to be, uh, you know, you can't just stick a, a character in a world and... You know, put a bunch of collectibles in there and go. Okay, we're good. You got, you got to, you got to add things to the game to make it, you know, pop for people. Um, you know, Super Mario Odyssey was such a great game. Uh, obviously, it's such a, a next level first party Nintendo game, but it's so good. You know, they, they, they streamlined the whole process of 3D Mario. You know, when you, you get a star, you just keep going, keep looking. You know, and it, it's such a great game. And this game, you know, while it may not be on the level of uh, you know, something like Super Mario Odyssey, it's got its own flavor. Which is what's important. You want to get... Oh, jeez, they are really ganging up on me here. Luckily, I can cheese them a little bit here. I'm just going to take these two guys out. There we go. You're going to get those wave-based fights every now and then. But uh, the game has its own flavor by being partially a twin-stick shooter, you know? Um... We've seen the character switch mechanic before, but never done with, like, two jelly guys that could, like, shoot bullets. Like, how cool is that? I mean, quite honestly, this seems like something that would have been, like, a Switch-exclusive, like, Nintendo-style game, you know? It really does. But either way, I am really glad that people are still coming out with 3D platformers, because they are my favorite genre next to 2D platformers, for sure. I heard another hey. Uh, I'm not even sure how to get that long line of them there. I feel like I gotta jump over to him. Oh, I got most of them. The hay sounded like it was coming from over here, but I didn't see anybody, so I guess we gotta jump up just a bit more. Maybe it's up here somewhere. So yeah, as I mentioned, guys, this game is out today. It's 20 bucks um, for a quality game. I think it's definitely worth it. I know right now, like, indie games are hitting that threshold where they're like, you know, do we charge 10? Do we charge 15? Do we charge 20? So far, I would say this game definitely feels like a $20 game. There we go. I got all three. First time on a level. 
Um, and there's a there's a lot of indie games that do come out for twenty bucks, where you know they're they're not they're not great, and they think they they can command you know that kind of price tag. Um, but for me personally, like I feel like this is definitely worth it for the amount of fun and I'm getting out of it. Here we go. We reached the end of this one. Boom! Jelly break. Look at that. We got all three. Oh, we unlocked a secret level, but I don't. I feel like I should leave that for you guys to check out if you get into the game, uh, because we're gonna jump into a boss battle instead. Now, the the only thing uh, that might mar this game for some people is they might deem it as kind of short. What I do like about it is that you do have the option of going back and playing extra levels. So these unlocks here. Um, you know, they seem like they're going to be extra levels. Actually, you know, we might as well, since we unlocked it and we're in the midst of it. Oops, uh, let me go back to level selection. Yes. Yes, okay. I was making sure I selected the right level. Okay, so it does look like it is another uh, new set of uh, levels that you unlock. So I'm assuming harder levels. Uh, it is interesting, though, that they put the other levels behind, like, an unlock situation I guess they maybe wanted to make the game like slightly easier for people to play with a, a partner or a friend or whatever and then you know make it so like if they need more out of the game they can go back and play the other ones which I understand what they're going for there but personally I, I would have been like man just make it part of the main game you know make, put more levels in the way for, for the player because uh, we're gonna here we're gonna jump out of here as it stands you know if there are two main levels per every area that means you got one well actually it's one main level and then a boss battle you got one two three four five and then six at the final area it looks like if that if that is to be believed here um yeah i don't know that's interesting uh let's see here oh and i apologize guys i don't know if that's been up the whole time but there's uh this is a pre-release of the game actually it's showing the uh frames per second, game, draw, that kind of stuff there. I apologize if that has been annoying you. I don't know why that is up. It could be on my end. I'm not sure. I don't think I turned on any kind of uh, monitoring software or anything. Hmm. This is pre-release, though, so keep that in mind. That may be in there before the final update, before the game comes out. So keep that in mind. Woo! Love the atmosphere of this game, though. You got to see another environment that we were just in. It's kind of like a lab-style area. Um, but I, I love the, the just the cutesy style. I love the uh, the colors, how vibrant it is. Man, so good. So, so good. Controls feel good. Camera feels like it's always where it's supposed to be. Super important in a 3D platformer. I don't know what kind of boss we're going to have going on here. Looks like we're going to have to deal with some, uh... Evil Blob left his mark on the jungle. Any idea what he was researching there? I had no clue. The only thing that I might knock this game for is that when you get hit, it's not super apparent that you're being hit. Like, when enemies mob you, they knock you back a little bit, but, you know, there should be, like, a little bit of feedback for the player. Like, your character should flash white and become invincible for a second, and your character's like, oh, ooh, you know, something like that. You can see I got hit by a, a fruit that was falling there. I didn't even know I had lost health because there was no, no feedback there. I picked up that fruit and got my health back, but that might be the only thing I would knock this game for, uh, is something like that. All right, here's a boss battle. I've never played this one before. This looks like some kind of weird mechano turtle. Something out of the TMNT comics for sure. All right, so this is where the twin stick shooter stuff really comes into play. Do some strafing. Oh, now we gotta jump. Oh, that's not. Oh, I see. Where am I? Okay, we we hit the glass. Okay, now I know what we gotta do. I see. Ah! <laughs> Was not expecting to do that. Uh, that's another thing with this game too. If you were looking for some unique boss battles, this game does a really good job of doing what it can with what it has. Um, it creates, like, a lot of really cute boss battle encounters, but there's a lot going on. Like, the second boss battle was actually an owl that spins around, but, you know, throws out all these uh, force fields for you to, you know, put them in your way or whatever. Um, 
and uh, sends enemies your way too. So you gotta take care of the enemies while avoiding the force fields while also switching colors and stuff. So if you're thinking like, I know this is cutesy, but it's not gonna let you off the hook that easy just by being cutesy. It's one of those games that's cutesy, but also uh, is gonna challenge you for sure. Okay, we gotta keep moving. We gotta stay out of that middle area too, because that's just lava. That's just gonna take us out. Got him. Yeah, I was wondering why we got sort of like blasted all over the place here, and it's because when you hit that glass, it just automatically throws you around. See, I got hit there, and it definitely had a knockback effect on me, but I just don't feel like the feedback is strong enough to let you know that you're being hit. You know, I always, I always think back to like uh, Mario, even like, you know, think of Banjo Kazooie, you get hit. Banjo's all like, ooh, you know, it takes a hit. Oh, we got a switch. We got him! The achievement for that one is Toodles, Turtle. Got him! Look at that. Boom. We busted him. Busted him wide open. Let's hit this one. And there you go! Guys, great game. Definitely check this one out if you are a 3D platforming fan. I I fully recommend it. You know, it actually looks like that uh, pirate ship, I didn't notice this before, actually had a uh, unlockable 5 number on it. So, perhaps you are going to have to have a large amount of savior, or uh, a large amount of character saved to get to the final boss. So maybe that's how they're going to gate you to get there. You may not have to beat every level, but you are going to have to collect this many different characters, because that one had five on it. So, you have to keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, uh, like I said, Jelly Break Deluxe, or Gelly Break Deluxe, I'm sure it's Jelly. That joke is old, I'm sure, at this point. But great little game, 20 bucks, anywhere you play games here, definitely worth checking out. Uh, as you can see, the Steam version works wonderfully. Um, but yeah, great little game. Fully, fully recommended. Uh, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, of course, I'll see you all next time.